सो वेलकम सो दिस इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू आई विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद अ जैंगो प्रोजेक्ट आई विल गो फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एस्टैब्लिशिंग द जैंगो एनवायरमेंट डूइंग अदर थिंग्स आई विल ऑल्सो कन्फिगर इट विद यू एस जी आई एंड इंजीनियक्स एंड आई विल टेक इट टू प्रोडक्शन सो आई विल डू ऑल ऑफ दिस वाइल क्रिएटिंग दिस लाइव वीडियो एंड वी विल ऑल्सो डू सम फायर वॉल कॉन्फिगरेशन द यू एफ डब्ल्यू डू सम वॉट एवर वी नीड टू डू विद दी आई पी टेबल्स डू सम फिगरिंग आउट देर एंड पुट लॉड ऑफ अदर सिक्योरिटी इन प्लेस सो वॉट एवर इट इज दैट वी कैन Uh, we will try and put the uh, security part of it in place because we want to keep this in production and running we don't want to uh, just do a demo project and just let it be so that is not the intention uh, and yes i will keep it alive for uh, uh, anybody to use it uh, it will be a live uh, uh, yeah, let's say software as a service kind of a offering which will be there and uh, yes uh, anybody who wants to follow along and learn uh, they are uh, most welcome to do that in case you face any challenges uh, you are most welcome to uh, post your comments in the uh, uh, comments for the linkedin uh, link or the comments for the youtube link and uh, uh, whatever time permits i will surely get back to you so in case uh, that is possible for me if it is not possible then at least i'll uh, offer you some kind of guidance that you can go ahead and you know um, google things yourself and uh, google is our best friend here uh, having said that yandex and probably uh, you know there are other uh, search engines which are there preferred by the chinese folks so maybe those are even much better i really can't say but uh, for uh, most users google will suffice so if you really get stuck somewhere and uh, then there is uh, nothing which is helping you out uh, then of course reach out uh, let's see what can be done now to begin with what we are going to use is as the stack is django nginx usgi and use conda virtual environments in place of virtual uh, environment wrapper because virtual environment wrapper has given me a uh, lot many issues in the past and i don't necessarily uh, prefer that anymore so you can see that on my terminal also there are still things which are pending there so i'll just uh, let that be uh, okay so the first thing to do is uh, set up our virtual environment setting up the virtual environment we'll uh, prefer conda and uh, we will be using python 3.5 3.6 uh, anything which is beyond uh, 3 is a good version to use so we've gone ahead and given the basic command to conda to create a demo virtual environment with while it's using python 3.6 so the default of course this being ubuntu 16 the default uh, python is still 2.7 so i have not uh, done a very uh, latest upgrade so maybe one, one of the latest upgrades they've started giving 3.6 or 3.5 or something i am not aware uh, but on this one yes uh, it is still uh, 2.7 2.7 even though certain legacy systems might still be working on 2.7 uh, it's not recommended nobody will recommend it to, uh, in today's date so you should be avoiding 2.7 if you're starting a new project and uh, this solving environment and all the stuff will take a while uh, not many bad things will happen or any help will be required so i'll just pause this and come back once it's done as you can see there's lots of uh, downloads which are happening there's lot of packages which are getting downloaded right now so this is the conda uh, max possible kind of a uh, environment that i am setting up you could also set up uh, you could initially not have conda also you can have mini conda so mini conda is much better so in case you got a small server you got some small uh, setup going on don't really want to um, uh, spend lot of uh, you know uh, waste lot of your uh, uh, disk space you can end up uh, using mini conda so that that's absolutely okay that shouldn't be a challenge uh, but here i am installing almost everything because uh, uh, i i i end up then upgrading uh, various uh, packages uh, later on which uh, which is okay you can you can do that but anyways doesn't necessarily make a difference to me 
now uh, the reason i use nginx and why i would uh, prefer nginx uh, over apache and other things nginx is uh, much simpler to uh, configure so nginx is much simpler to configure also for my uh, for my certification of my uh, web app or for my website i would be using something like uh, it's it's called certbot so certbot is what is preferred unless of course you want to go ahead and do your own uh, you know create your own certificates and all so creating your own certificates firstly will be a headache and you'll probably end up missing a few things so for somebody who's starting off with this uh, certbot is a extremely safe bet uh, that is for sure so certbot will give you some kind of uh, you know uh, relief to begin with and they also do a uh, you, you can do a manual config or you can also do a uh, automated config so the automated config is basically the cert bot itself so they've created a bot which will go ahead and looking at your uh, nginx configuration uh, give you a certification to your uh, web app and your website and which uh, uh, to whatever is the initial uh, this thing set up uh, suffices yes going ahead yes you will have to do other things and yes i uh, i also will uh, demonstrate those so if you follow along uh, we'll go beyond certbot also we'll do that but for the initial beginning i think certbot is good enough going back to our environment and checking if everything is done there uh, yes, we are set up now. So great. Conda activate. And that's done. So pip install Django to begin with. So what I'll do is I'll create a requirements.txt uh, file for my this uh, environment and I'll share it and I'll also uh, let you know as to how you can install everything from that. So I'll pause the video. I'll go back to installing everything that I require for now and uh, then take you through a shortcut path of doing these things. So in case uh, so you don't end up wasting too much time. Uh, installing USGI within that Python environment uh, might uh, throw up an error. So this is what you get to see uh, over here. So there's whole lots of uh, uh, lines in that error stack, so to say. Uh, you don't have to worry too much. Either it will get installed in uh, another method which I will share soon. Or you can end up doing a global install of USGI. So the global install of USGI also works quite well. You don't necessarily have to put it inside the uh, virtual environment. So that is okay. That doesn't necessarily uh, stop us right now. Also, we'll do an install of uh, USGI top. So that is uh, similar to edge top. We can end up seeing as to what is being run uh, when the USGI is uh, speaking with our uh, Django development server. And that can be quite important. So there'll, there'll be certain things that you would want to watch there. Also, we we'll install white noise. So white noise is mostly used for, uh, uh, let's say, whenever you want to use something like Heroku, uh, which is uh, from Salesforce. And in case you want to uh, cater for your static files over there, you will end up using white noise. But in certain cases, on a uh, self deployment also we will use white noise and uh, at least during the development phase maybe not in production so you'll end up needing it so we'll, we'll just go ahead and uh, keep that so now let's do a pip freeze and let's see uh, what do we have fine so now we have our requirements in place so that's our requirements.txt file. So we don't necessarily have to write the entire thing. We can give it absolutely any name. So, but the convention is that you do an entire requirements.txt, which is okay. 
So certify came down along with Django. So Django, Django registration Redux I have installed. I want to uh, use it for creating registration profiles. So we uh, obviously want to create an app which will uh, give users the functionality to go ahead and register as users, create their own uh, groups and things to that effect. PsychoPG is uh, PsychoPG2 is uh, for our Postgres uh, database. So it's the interface between Python and uh, PostGRE SQL. And that is what we'll be using mostly. I'll also do a MySQL on this one, but uh, that will be later on. I, I don't uh, really know. Maybe somebody uh, can educate me as to what is it that I'm missing if I'm just using Postgres and not using MySQL. So. I'm absolutely okay with that. Now USGI top is like I've already explained what that is for and white noise. So this is a very basic requirements dot text that I have right now. I'll go ahead and start configuring the Django project and then I'll see if I need something else.